when it comes to gold versus silver, do you see silver performing pretty much the same in 2020 as gold? Well, it'll follow gold. Um, you know, silver tends to follow gold and magnify the move. So if gold starts to go up, silver will usually go up by a factor of two or three times as much as um, gold does. <clears throat> so just waiting on to, to see what happens with the dollar and whether or not uh, this recent low uh, turns out to be an intermediate cycle low or just a minor daily cycle low that's going to um, not be able to get through that 835 and then you know go back down and make a lower low. It's just up in the air right now. I, I wouldn't want to hazard a guess as to which, which way it's going to go. It can go either way. I think if we do see further consolidation, though, that just presents a buying opportunity, right? And a way to accumulate more because as we've talked about before, I mean, the fundamentals for both gold and silver and especially silver are extremely bullish. Uh, it it does. Um, I, I I think, you know, if, if we keep going sideways, I think there's a perfect opportunity to accumulate. Um, personally, I like silver the best. I've been on record saying that $100 silver is going to be a piece of cake. Now, it's not going to happen next year. Um, it's it's going to be the bull market in the metals is going to last five to eight years. So it'll it'll take a while to get there. But uh, I think um hundred dollar silver was is going to be a piece of cake, just like ten thousand dollar or, or ten thousand on the Nasdaq was a piece of cake. I, I said years ago that uh, the Nasdaq was definitely going to ten thousand and maybe possibly to twenty thousand, and you know we're getting pretty close. We we tagged sixteen thousand recently, so hundred hundred dollar silver, you know anything in this range, any anywhere in twenty to twenty five dollar range, I think is going to make you a lot of money over the next eight years, um, and. 200 even $500 isn't out of the question when you get into that final manic uh, bubble phase. Sil silver can go up 100% in six weeks during that final phase. So, you know, we could we could chug and grind and maybe get to $100, $150 in the next five years. And then in the last six weeks, you could go from uh, $100 to $500. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Now, for the last year or so, we have been stuck in that kind of 20 to $30 range. Um, do you see silver falling below that range? Again, I think it depends on, on what the dollar does. It, it, this is the opportunity for it to do that. If the dollar continues to rally and doesn't roll over uh, in this current daily cycle and gold were to left translate and move down, then silver's probably going to follow it. And, uh, and this would be an opportunity for it to, to go below maybe $20, maybe test that 200-week moving average. Uh, and, and I think that would be a great buying opportunity to accumulate more physical silver. And I, I like physical silver. Um, easier to hold on to. You're not as panicky and not as apt to sell at a bottom if you're, you know, holding nice shiny silver bars as opposed to shares in SLV. You, know, you open up your account, you see your accounts down, and you tend to panic and sell. Uh, with silver, uh, with physical silver, that's that's not going to happen. It's easy to hold uh, through whatever correction we have. Now, in this kind of environment, as we see a lot of consolidation in all the markets, how do how does an investor play this year? So, what I've my advice is um, diversify a little bit. I like to tell my subscribers have a third in metals, a third in energy, and a third in uh, stocks. Um, well. I think when we have our next bear market in the stocks, our next recession, um, things could get really bad. And I, I really don't want all of my wealth in the financial system, just in case there are bail-ins or, you know, whatever. <laughs> if the banking system implodes, I, I don't want I don't want my wealth where the government can get their hands on it. I'd rather have it where I can keep an eye on it. So that, that's another reason. And then also the, the more of us that take physical silver off the market, the harder it's going to be for uh, the banking system to manipulate the metals. For the metals, I think you should have most of your third in physical silver. If you want to take a little bit, maybe um, two or three or you know, at most, maybe 5% of your uh, capital that you're allocating to metals to try and play the intermediate swings, you know, go ahead. But 
if it continues to be whipsawing like it is right now, it's really hard to, it's not hard to make money. It's hard to keep it. So you, you make a little bit, you lose a little bit, you make a little bit, you lose a little bit. Uh, if you're just buying and accumulating physical silver, you're not going to have that problem and you'll be there whenever the move starts. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.